This time on Heavy Rescue 401. Okay, man, stand your lineup. I gotta tighten my lineup. A mangled trailer. There it goes. Yeah, definitely got can openers, that's for sure. Tangles with Austin. Are you guys ready? A trio of companies. Fights tons of resistance. Hold on. Whoa. Oh. And a fiery wreck. Is that a dump truck fire? Turns up the heat. It's a huge mess. But you know what's going on up ahead? Can anyone see the light at the end of the tunnel yet? What the hell is this? I think I can speak for all of us when I'm ready for spring. On the calendar, spring is just a few days away. It is a very, very tough commute if you are making your way out. The snowstorm is not making for an easy drive, and because of the snowstorm, reduced visibility. We have a lot of problems. But on highways across southern Ontario, winter is refusing to let go. Watch the road here, stop full of ice. A swath of low pressure is sweeping over the Great Lakes and slamming into a mass of Arctic air. Okay, guys, light them up. Right over top of Toronto. Really, if I take this seriously, so. On the 401 in the heart of the city, one driver is heading through the worst hit stretch of highway. Right now, we have a winter storm warning, we have a weather advisory, we have a travel advisory, you know, a lot of uh, recommendations from Environment Canada to stay home or to not go out if you don't have to. But people ignoring the warnings are making it a busy night for Sergeant Kerry Schmidt. We have about 50 collisions on the go as we speak, and that's where we see most of our problems with drivers going too fast for conditions, losing control because uh, they can't uh, you know, hold traction or they're slamming into traffic that's slowing in front of them. So it's simple. Anytime you're driving in less than ideal conditions, you need to slow down Give yourself extra time. Give yourself that extra distance behind the vehicle in front of you. By midnight, the crash count is pushing well over 50. Oh, oh boy. boy. Traveling at a high rate of speed before losing control. Up Sorry, she's breaking. On the westbound 401 at Dufferin, the chaotic night is about to get... Have more style trucks! Even worse. Here, uh, we're in a live place. MQ advice. Abrams towing the top of the ramp. Crazy weather today. Within minutes, John Allen is closing in. OPP's uh, on scene. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the uh, highway open quick. Oh, that guy ended up like that. Oh. Yeah, pretty close to live lane here. A little bit slick out here right now. With five express lanes bottlenecking into one, the pressure is on. The one guy's jackknife, and he's actually facing the wrong way on the highway. The other guy ran into his trailer right there in the middle of the highway. I need to uh, get the highway, a couple lanes opened up here right quick, so I'm going to drag this sideways. Once I drag this over sideways, I'm going to hook this one up, get it out of the way. He's got the trucks peeled apart. You're perfect. But to clear the road quickly, he needs some backup. Bon Grenier. And just over a kilometer away, 
Chad Grenier is finishing up a job at the next exit. Yeah. I'm at Keelan 401. You got two to go there? All right. Traffic backing up. That's why I'm trying to rush to get this uh, lane reopened. Westbound, you're coming to a stop. Yeah, they're backed up pretty freaking good. As I'm approaching the scene, I see pretty much all the traffic's down to only one lane or shoulder being open and fire and MTO blocking the road. 988 on scene. 10 -4. All right. Hey, John. Yeah, grab that. I'm going to pull this ahead right now. Once I pull this ahead, you hop in and make a U-turn with it. Yeah. I'm going to let the police know what I'm doing, and they'll get the sick turn around. I've never had the whole thing facing the opposite direction before. So my plan is to jump into this thing and do a nice U-E right in the middle of the highway. You do what you got to do. So is it possible you can back up a little bit and shut it down? Yeah. All right. They need to wrangle the semi around a full 180 degrees, shutting down the last open lane. I'm just trying not to crush everything. Crush your fingers. Be advised, we have all the westbound lanes blocked. We have a 53-foot trailer, probably in about 60 feet from wall to wall. To make a U-turn, you're gonna need, you know, an airstrip to turn this thing around. Man. MQ, and if I was in Montreal, cameras as well. It's that guy in an airplane. Must be scared for that. Perfect. Chad managed to make this turn in one shot. He was, he was really close. I was a little uh, unsure that he's going to do it, but he pulled it off. The express is moving, but there's a lot of night and a lot of weather still to come. It's after midnight, but it's just the start of the night, it seems like. Woo. I think it's going to be a busy night. Be advised, uh, all lanes are reopened. Yes, sir. Okay. sees clear conditions at the far end of the 401. Okay, gotta go. But despite the good weather, Duncan Cooper is on the move. We're on our way up to the 401 in the Morrisburg area. Got a tractor trailer down in the ditch. And he's heading there without his biggest asset. Today I'm in the pipes and drums because uh, my big rotator is back at the dealer getting some warranty work done on it. Anyways, nature of the beast, equipment breaks. Semi is upright, but far into the ditch and deep into a stand of trees. Got a tractor trailer loaded with tires, very heavy, very muddy. She's gonna be a beauty of a job. The trailer was okay, but the tractor was just completely demolished. I mean, the trees went through the hood and, you know, went through the rad. And it was a mess. At least nobody was seriously hurt, you know? With traffic backing up, the semi swerved to avoid a car in its path, veering off the road and right into the steep ditch. He's lucky she didn't go over. Bill Ewing of Bill's Towing 
called Duncan in for some heavy-duty backup. When they get into the mud, they stop pretty quick, and it just piles everything up underneath. With Duncan's rotator out of commission, they've turned to a third company for the extra help. They're asking for our big iron, so she's got to be a good pull, that's for sure. John Campbell's towing. So it's myself and my son, John. Uh, I brought John with me to help pull chains and stuff because, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore. As soon as I pulled up on scene, I realized why they called me. This thing wasn't just a little bit off the road. It was way in there. What's the plan, Bill? You're the boss. The plan is get rid of the trees, get your heavy in the front, yep. your rotator behind, and John's at the back end. Start bringing her up out. It's gonna be one hell of a heavy pull. Hey, look at it just sunk in the mud there. With 40,000 pounds of tires inside the trailer, the mud will only increase resistance. Down the bottom of the ditch, it's soft down there. We have trees all stuck in it. It always seems to be, you get that one last job of the year in the spring, it's just terrible, terrible. It's heavy, it's just like this, and that's gonna be a complete nightmare. On the 401, just east of London. Now there's a trailer rolled over on the shoulder. Late morning traffic is squeezing past a major scene. They're on their side, oh. They're working hard there this morning. Couldn't be worse. I think the biggest thing is bringing it over is hopefully that piece that's coming through the wall over here will come out. It's already been a long morning for Ross Services Rotator Ops, Mike Ross and Austin Hutchinson. It's a lot of hose to wrestle. Yeah, no doubt. So this guy, when he managed to flop this truck down into the ditch here, he's landed actually right on top of one of the signs that you see along the side of the 401. It basically acted as a can opener and just ripped the whole side of this trailer wide open in a couple different spots. Not really going to look to be the prettiest thing once it's upright, but uh, as long as we can keep this thing in one piece, we'll be happy. They've removed the tractor and most of the load of rubber pellets. But the damaged trailer is ready to fall apart. That is a little noisy. And lead operator Mike is needed back at home base. It will be messy. I think I'm going to shoot down to the yard. OK, sounds good. So it's up to Austin to stick handle the delicate operation. Having Austin around, lightens the load on me, I know he's uh, capable and confident. Michael's probably getting to the point where he's getting ready to step back a bit and more oversee everybody else. I guess that would mean for me that, you know, I'd step up kind of more into a, a lead role. Keep going. Yeah, don't stop. It was just three years ago that Austin joined Mike's crew and fought to earn his place. One bird is hiding. Can you find it? And raising a son on his own, Austin needed the stability of a firm place in the Ross lineup. I think any single parent would agree that it's hard to juggle a work life, a home life, a parent life. For myself, I just focus on the job at hand, and when I'm done, I'm going to get home to get my boy. Now the fun starts. This morning, right on. He'll rely on a newer hire, Andy Lytell, on the second record. Austin, he's really good. Really knows his stuff. We'll lift that corner and then you can just pin to it. Okay. For a young guy, he's really, really smart. That piece of I beam is actually stuck going up through the side of the trailer walls. It's definitely taking a little bit of abuse, this trailer going into the ditch. Andy's 50 ton will position on the front with Austin's rotator on the back. Together, they'll lift the trailer off the sign and onto its wheels. Make sure that middle one's tight. Before we stand it up, strap the two walls together, make sure they come up together just because we don't know how hurt that bottom rail of the trailer is where it meets the floor. That's good, brother. So the biggest concern with this is that we have to be in sync. Okay, man, snug your lineup. Yeah, tighten my lineup. 
if we get any sort of twist on this trailer or one of us starts to pull too fast, we pose a great risk of ripping this thing right in two. Trailer breaks apart, that's a whole lot more work. Take it right over. We're gonna have to fight with this sign here a little bit. It looks like it's stuck in the side of our trailer here, but there it goes. I like that. Okay, take a chain off it. Getting the trailer upright was one thing. Yeah, it definitely got can openers, that's for sure. But in its mangled condition, they can't simply tow it away. You have to go real, real easy. I don't know how it's going to like it. Austin needs a plan to safely and securely move it off the highway. Yep, sure. Tilt down, sorry. And without Mike's yep. guidance, yep. that plan is all up to him. Yeah, I haven't seen a back up that bad in a long time. Fifty kilometers east. Good thing we got a couple of kids here. Does they don't mind going down? All the prep work. Just so we can hook on. Duncan, John, and Bill are guiding their combined crew to clear a path for the pole. We're gonna uh, rig up these trees, get some out of the way, make the recovery of this truck a lot easier. See what we can do. Mikey. How you feeling today, pal? It's hard. The latest arrival has just pulled onto scene. Veteran Mike McPhee. Now don't work him too hard. I questioned working on the ice the other day again. It's not a healing pass enough for me. Mike is still waiting for his next round of surgery to further repair his injured ankles. They told me to take it easy, but I pushed myself too much. Yeah, his foot is so bad there, you gotta really watch him. Cause he won't stop, eh? Of course. Like any typical old boy, don't give up. Stops when he drops. As long as he's pulling air in, he'll always be involved. But we're getting to the end of winter and, you know, he's he's slowing down. Okay, I'm gonna help them rig to the other one. Get a little closer to the base of the tree here, so we don't rip it all to crap. There's still one tree wedged under the tractor that they need to clear away. Okay, how cold are we? But moving it okay. could impale the undercarriage and cause a serious oil leak. It would be somewhat like pulling porcupine quills out of a dog. It's uh, just there and nasty. Okay, yeah, keep an eye on that oil pan. Yeah, okay. Looks like it's coming. There she goes. Keep going. If you pull too hard, you nick that oil pan. It's like nicking somebody's artery. It's just bleeding oil everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The roots are right behind the oil pan. It's going to clean that oil pan right off of it. Traffic is still crawling past the scene outside Morrisburg. Well, that's all good. But the combo crew needs to rethink and re-rig to divert the tractor away from the stubborn tree. We're going to lift the front of the truck and we're going to swing it this way. There's one tree I got stuck under the oil pan. They can't get it out. If we can get the truck coming this way, then they can finish taking the tree out. You don't want to damage anything more than you have to. The ditch is full of water. You don't want to drop 30 liters of oil in it. We'll see what happens here. Pull the tree! Pull on the tree! It's coming! Keep going! Watch your face, son! I was staring at that oil pan to make sure that that tree wasn't going to twist the wrong way or anything, because as soon as that happened, then it's game over. The oil's everywhere. Whoa! 
But now, they need to figure out how to move the semi up the slope. So what's the plan? I ain't gonna be pulling them up no damn hill like that. Oh, he's in there pretty deep. Rain still blows here, boys. Hey, he's back. You guys are losing the right hand lane up just past Cullivan there. Back on the western end of the 401. They make it? Love it. Austin is racing to tow away the destroyed trailer, but he's discovered a last-minute problem. We've got two flat tires on this side, so we're going to chain that up, tow it off of the rear axle. Quickest option for us at this point, just to get this thing off the highway. Ah! We're going to chain up the front axle to keep those tires off the ground, and that way we can tow it down the road without having to worry of losing anything like that. Make sure you tighten those chains on the front. These are right tight, as long as there's no weight on it. Sometimes you uh, get into a situation where you got to come up with a quick fix, and you've got to come up with it now. Yeah, it's off the ground now. OK. An operator who's worked hard to build a new home and future can chalk up another success. Chains are tight, pins locked. I just want to keep working on my skill set and, and continue to grow as an operator and try to maybe pass on some of the knowledge that I've learned to some of the other guys that are coming up in our crew. Hang on, my phone's ringing. And just as he's ready to roll out, Hi. Austin gets a call about an even more important job. We're hoping to get out of here shortly. OK, bud. OK. All right, well, let's get out of here then. To answer that call. Okay, thanks, see ya. 20 minutes later, Austin arrives to pick up his son, Nash. Having a son uh, is kind of my motivation for everything. Thanks for being a good boy tonight. I hope you had fun. Yes, I did. It's the reason I get up in the morning and go to work. It's the reason I work all night. It's the reason I lay on the side of the highway and, and try to get other people home. I mean, Everybody wants to be at home with their families, so. You can help me shift gears. Put your hand on there. Okay, ready? First gear to second gear. One, two, three, back. Okay, we're going up there. One, two, three, up. Good. You got her, bud. You're driving the big truck. <laughs> Watch your back, gentlemen. Just north of Morrisburg, the three crews have worked out a plan. Hooking a chain up on the frame so we can use it as a steering wheel, because as you can see, the front axle is non existent in this thing. <sighs> okay, tighten up your other line. Their rigging will need to wrestle the heavy transport up the steep bank without toppling it. It is heavy. He's loaded with tires. That other side sunk right down in the swamp. Where everything's stacked against you. Duncan's wreckers will pull the front as John's rotator holds the trailer upright so they can wrangle the semi to the road. Hey, man! Yeah! Is that a real heavy chain? Yeah, it's our, it's our half-inch good chain. Fighting a 40,000-pound load and a sharp incline, Duncan won't take any chances. I hate to be No, you don't. Don't lie to me. OK, because I got a three quarters. I got the logging chain. This is my uh, spring chain. I only use it in the spring for special occasions. Pull me in there, you big old bitch. But it's better to be too safe. OK, you're up. If you can only make a mistake once, if that chain lets go and hurts somebody, 
There's no do-over. You keep them tight and try and just keep the trailer pulled? Yep. From rolling, but a little bit of pull, but not to the point where you're pulling the nuts out of your truck. Right, and okay? I can't see through those trees yet, so... All three teams need to communicate and follow the plan exactly. Duncan and I work together a fair bit. We know how things are. Campbell's, they've never really worked with them before. Not sure how they do things. Mikey will be watching my back. Barry will be watching you. If you don't like something, somebody yell, OK? Yep. OK. Are you guys ready? OK. Pull! Hey! Slow her down, Bear. Slow her down a bit. Duncan's sign for stop might be way different than mine. Or somebody might say, whoa, and you hear go. So you really got to pay attention. Mine's eating it. Yeah. There she goes. Keep her going. Let me catch up. Hold on. Hold on. John's still getting used to his truck. He wants to catch up a little. Okay. It's coming up a very steep embankment, so he's he's got her. Like, he's hanging on to that trailer, and he's making sure it's not going to roll. He's going! As the trailer inches toward the top of the ditch... Slow down! ...the weight inside is threatening to push it over. Slow him down! That's the critical point of every pull. When you get just to the edge of the road, that's where things are the steepest. It's starting to leave a little bit, huh? Hold on! On the edge of a steep bank on the 401. Hold on! Whoa! 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 The loaded semi is ready to tip back into the ditch. He's got no more! The last thing you want to do is tell a customer that we just rolled over his trailer. The weight, all the weight in the front end of that trailer is still hanging over the 45th parallel there. Not quite where I want it to be yet. Time to adjust the plan. Mr. Quan, can we get that chain off of there? And we're gonna grab the pockets on the far side of the trailer down at the bottom, and me and Mikey will get this moved over onto the other side of Barry. Duncan shifting his own pulling power to the front, where the bulk of the load is sitting. Should be in freewheel. So the entire back end will be in the hands of John Campbell still new to running his rotator. You really got to watch what's going on back there, right? Those are pretty far away from each other. Technically, in theory, as we come ahead, it should start to land, in theory. John, he got his rotator. He just got it, you know, just shortly before. He was a little unsure of things, especially a ditch like that. This will be the hard pull, the big pull. All right, Mr. Wagner. So he's basically got to hold it, and we'll pull. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if you see something you don't like, yell. Sounds good, sir. OK, Barry. OK, get her, boys. It's a heavy pull, Barry. Now, it's all about landing the back end. And that's all up to John. The wheels were probably three, four inches on one side, up in the air, and a good foot on the other side. Couple more feet. OK, good enough? Yeah. They've got it back on level ground. I think we got her now. Yep. Yeah, I think we got her. Now they need to separate the units. But... You're not going to be able to unbend the dollies. It's all bent. 
The dolly legs were well compromised, so we couldn't rely on them to do anything. How bad are the dolly legs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The crew was relying on the legs to hold the trailer level so they can remove the tractor. Every step of the way is, uh, is a new challenge on this one. How about if I get right up in here real close right now and we uh, hook the, the other end of the chain, lift up on the front of the trailer, pull it out, unpin it, get the tractor out, and get my little tractor in here, okay? We're going to split right here. His dolly legs are all broken and bent. So I'm going to have to hold it up with a rotator while we pull this tractor out and get my little tractor in here. Good there. That should be close. Take them both up a little. Yeah. You got it, Duncan. We're unhooked. Well, you safe. But the move forces two wreckers to work together. Go a bit more. In a very tight space. Whoa! He's gonna hit it, eh? Yeah. Nah, you're getting too close to my truck. Well, hit with your truck if you can. I'm holding the trailer up. As they try to ease the units apart. Slow down, you Speed you're traveling at. They're running out of room. Okay, Barry, I'll get the one ton and see if we can drag the ass end of the tractor that way. We're gonna use Bill's one ton and we're gonna pull the back end of the tractor away from the back end of my tow truck. They're relying on Bill's light duty tow truck to make the difference. Yeah, the old one. Watch your face there if that breaks. Hold it! Hold it! Okay, pull on it! Good! Whoa! The little truck sometimes sneak in and do a little job for you, and you never think that they'd be able to do it, but they'll pull a lot. It took every truck. She's ugly. And every member of every crew. But the job is done, and the lane can open again. Yep, keep coming. Three companies working together, and we got the job done. Here shortly, we'll get the highway back open up. Really good experience, especially for some of the new guys, like, I mean, they picked the biggest, hardest job to learn on, but they got it. Hey, you're in. Good. Thanks for coming out there, John. My son, um, he gave her big, and uh, I was quite proud of him. Thanks, boys. Nice work with the I'm going to have to slow down in May. <gasps> They're going to reoperate on my ankle again. In the towing business, you don't stop. Keep going. Been a pleasure, buddy. Yeah, it was fun. Here again. That's what we do. We're like a brotherhood, right? We help each other. It's a good peace of mind to know you got friends out there. Next morning. Oh, that's a nice drive. The sunrise brings clear skies and roads to Toronto. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. And the good conditions stretch north of the city all the way up Highway 400. Hello. But at the Rescue 51 yard, just west of Barrie. James? It's go time. We got a dump truck fire. I already sent Daimi because he's close by, so we got to roll. James and Fabiana Ireland are heading north, where the entire southbound 400 
is shut down. We have the whole team going for this one. Uh, we got James going in the rotator. Aimee is already there with the 35 ton. I'm taking the recovery response unit. Okay, I heard from Aimee. He's saying the police are uh, freaking out up there. It sounds like the traffic's already backed up about five or six kilometers. The southbound traffic is completely stopped. Anybody know what's going on up ahead? People are out of their vehicles. Apparently, this thing is fully engulfed. Oh, well, fire there. You reckon that would glass of fire for hot freight? What a scene. Apparently, flames are coming from the wheels. actually start off for the drive into Barrie. Southbound lanes of the 400 blocked past Horseshoe Valley Road. For north of Barrie, a raging trailer fire has stopped all southbound traffic. All the brakes and have a coffee, boys, you ain't going nowhere. OPP Constable Dan Hunter will help manage the operation. A closure like this, this could build two kilometers of traffic backlog inside of an hour. Fire's out and we need to wait for our heavy rescue folks to show up. I see a couple of wreckers here. As we're pulling up on scene, I see a whole bunch of firefighters. All the lanes are closed. Still warm. It's crazy. The trailer has dumped 18 tons of gravel across the highway, blocking all the southbound lanes. We've had a pup trailer burn down. It even burned the sides out of it. You know, when these tires get burning, they're very, very hot. Hi, me. Gosh, well, it's still smoking. <laughs> it's pain in the ass. It's a huge mess to clean up. Rescue 51 operator, Imi Garretts, is already cleaning up the still smoking remains. Watch your back. But now, the entire heavy fleet will be on hand to back him up. Five years ago, James and Fabiana struck out on their own with just a single truck and worked to build their fleet and their reputation. And even their daughter, Sophia, has grown up to be part of the team. We're growing pretty quick. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. We've uh, made a few purchases here and there, and things are getting busier by the minute. Oh. Today, they're bringing all their tools and skill to this high-stakes scene. The pressure's on right now. We need to do the cleanup quick um, and open this highway. Dan, Hunter. Where's your other mid? He's in the traffic, and our float will be coming down too, so we need to get it down here to load it. So. With the gravel cleared in one lane, traffic can start to squeeze by. Tell Mark not to go over the yellow line. We're going to open this lane. Okay. But the six-kilometer Toronto-bound backup is still growing. They got one up. Yep. Definitely crawling. In order to be able to move the volume of traffic that passes on this roadway, the side roads just don't cut it. So we're doing everything we can to reopen this roadway. 
Jaime, do you want to uh, do me a favor? Let's start rigging it, and then I can back in here once the float's here and we'll lift it. Okay. James plans to lift the burned out trailer onto a flat deck. But it's so compromised, it could collapse in midair. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. No, I think it looks here. So this trailer is completely destroyed. There's no sides left in it, there's no floor left in it. That's going to go to the back, yours, so bring it there now. Leave it here? Bring it around the back. Finding proper rigging points is going to be a bit difficult, but we need to get this thing rigged and lifted. OK, Aimee, I'm going to go up with that one, OK? Yeah, with the red one. Yeah. OK, keep going. Keep going. I mean, I'm bringing it this way. Watch yeah, it. yeah, yeah, I see. As James is lifting it, you know, anything can happen. It could rapture and uh, fall apart on us. OK, nobody underneath it, eh? Now they need to clear the gravel that was underneath to allow access for the flat deck. James, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, probably we need to cut out these wires. Yeah, that'll get in the drive, so let's do that. Yes. It's you're almost catching a truck, and if it's, uh, it'll be a big problem. The tangle of burned wires could get caught in the loader's tracks. I'm he's my right-hand man. I think you'll be able to peel it off. But it only takes a second for something to go wrong. Just try not to go underneath too much. I trust James with his rigging and everything, but anything can happen, anything can break. I don't like Ivy being under there. Oh, boy. Careful. Watch yourself. Just try not to go underneath too much. On the southbound 400, dangling wires are forcing a risky removal. Try and grab the wires. We don't want them to get wrapped in the tracks. The Rescue 51 crew has to work around a trailer that's barely holding together. Careful, just go slow, I mean. You gotta be pretty confident in your rigging when you've got this many people working close to the trailer. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Finally, there's room to clear a path for the flat deck. Okay, let's back the float in. Heads up. I think that's pretty good, eh? Okay, going up and out. Normally, we would have to turn trucks sideways to lift this trailer. Now we're sitting in one lane and lifting. This is what we bought a rotator for. Straight down. Straight down. It's perfect. Excellent. Love it when a plan comes together. Sophia's gonna be so mad. Uh, the trailer is clear and the crew is safe. The only regret, one member didn't make it to see. Sophia. She bugs me all the time. She gets so upset if she doesn't get to go out and do a call, or in this case, a recovery. Heads up. You know what? Everybody came together here as a team, and look how fast something like this gets cleaned up. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. OK, let's go get it put away. And... All right. And that's it. Now we get to go home and eat. Yeah, we're done, yeah. Aurelia 1 Alpha 203. All your lanes are reopened, 400 southbound of Forbes Road. Just a few days later, James is back out on the road, this time with his daughter. This is Sophia's first upright, so it's got to be pretty exciting for her. Yellow in. Some of my earliest memories are being in the wreckers with mom and dad. Falling asleep in the trucks and stuff like that. There it's grabbing. When I was learning how to run these tow trucks, I only learned by putting my hands on the controls. Slow down a bit. Keep going. Keep going, but a bit slower. OK, hold on. Stop. 
Put it on Bunny Rabbit from Turtle. Okay, stop. Honestly, I'm pretty confident behind the controls when Dad's telling me what to do, because I know he knows what he's doing and I trust him. Out, Sophia. Put it on Turtle. Go a little, Sophia. This is a pretty cool moment for me, having James on scene and Sophia at the controls of the rotator. Boom in. Good. There we go. This is a first, and uh, hopefully not the last. Out. OK, that'll do. Let's get it off the road. When he tells me to do something, I feel like really good doing it because I know he knows what he's doing. So I wasn't worried, really, no. James and Fabiana have worked hard to build their company and their future. Hi. Hey. Good job. Thanks. And days like today could be the start of the next chapter. It's fun. <laughs> Done. We're out of here. It's cold. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. That was a good job. Thank that was you. Great. Next time on the season finale of Heavy Rescue 401. Frozen in there. Stock Semi. Right. Strikes back. He's getting ahead of me. Help! Oh, hey! Dennis, stay on that, man. Eric fights. Dennis, Dennis, it's fast. To keep it together. He's too fast. And Gary and Colin. So cold. Everything's frozen. Reach deep. I haven't had one this deep, steep, and stuck in many, many years.